All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Today, our topic is about some silly verses in the Quran. Uh, by the way, I made a I made a video, a short video about it's called the property of a prophet Muhammad. Amazing story. This is the title. Uh, I noticed only two people only did download the video out of four five thousands. Um, they watch it in a few hours and this is telling me that from the 4,000 or 5,000 people who watch the videos There's only two people care Very nice. Anyway for me. I do my job Which is not for you. It's for the Lord and The rest is not in my hand Never the Jews or the Christians will be satisfied with you, which means Muhammad, unless you follow their religion. When you see this verse, what the first thing come to your mind? What does that mean? I find that this verse is very silly and showing the disability of the man who, who he called himself a prophet of Allah. He and his God, they could not answer the Christians. They could not refute the Jews. So what do we say? Bro, the Jews and the Christians will not be satisfied with you unless you follow the religion. Well, isn't it the same scenario for you too? The Muslims will not be satisfied with the Christians and the Jews unless we follow their religion. So what's what the purpose of this stupid thing? Simply, it is just an easy way to say, I cannot answer you. And the reason you are questioning me, that's because I am a false prophet, but because you will never be satisfied. So a Muslim, he keep posting for us uh, in the comment in the video, this verse, chapter 2, verse 102. The Christians and the Jews will never be satisfied with you. And how the Christians and the Jews will be satisfied with you if you call them all kind of filthy names? Pigs, worst of the creatures, monkeys, filthy, nudges, evildoer, the worth of mankind, the same as animals, so you want them to be satisfied with you and you are calling them all those names That's very silly. It's, it's the same as uh, I want the Muslim to be satisfied with me and I say Muhammad is a stupid He's a false prophet He's a donkey He's an idiot He's a cheater He's a liar and then I make a verse says all Muslims will never be satisfied with the Christian Prince unless you follow his religion or I say the opposite oh Muslims I will never satisfy I will never I will never uh, uh, satisfy you unless I follow religion. I mean this is silly this is very stupid now by the way before I start broadcast I saw a Muslim Abdul saying that the Bible says that the earth has four corners I mean how stupid is, is that brother unbelievable brother do you really believe the Bible saying that my friend, this is a figure of a speech we use today, and there's many of them scientifically are not correct. Which means when we say, I can show you the Quran says the sun set, but the sun never set. Until now we say the sun rise, but the fact the sun never rise. So how silly, how stupid you are. However, it is your Quran who says that there is two east and two west. Do you want me to show you? And that is not a figure of a speech. Your funny prophet Muhammad, who is Aka Allah, he could not explain why the sun in the winter is different or coming from different locations from the sun in the in the summer. So he come with an idea that there is two 
uh, east and to west. Do you see it, Abdul? Chapter 55, verse number 17. Obviously, your prophet, Aka Allah, is a genius and he knew exactly what's going on. So he believed there is two east and there is two west. And the Muslims today, in order to cover this poo-poo, they start fabricating stones of stories saying, oh, this is means something different. No, it does not mean seeing something different. Even in the interpretation, it says it clearly. The sun of the west in the winter and the sun of the west in the summer and the sun of the east in the winter and the sun of the east in the winter. So Muhammad, he come with the conclusion that there is two east and two west. Or what about that the two seas will never meet? And the Muslims, they fabricate and they say, it says here that the salty water and the fresh water, they will never mix. When the fact this is speaking about, yes, will never mix because there's a barrier between them, which is a piece of land. The God of Islamic claim that he separated the fresh water from the salty water and there are two seas. And they will never meet which is again a stupid statement in the Quran because all the fresh water we have is coming from a cycle fresh water salty water doesn't matter the water vibrate go back to the sky became a cloud come back down as rain it doesn't matter where it's going to land in the sea or in the land so the false god Muhammad, he thought that the two lands are the two seas. There is two seas. He cannot explain why he dig in Mecca in the ground and they found a well of water under the ground. So there is a seas there. This is why if we go to the chapter of Noon or Al Qalam, we will find the Muslims and Muhammad and explain that there is a Noon which is carrying the earth in the top of it. If you remember. I'm going a little bit out of my topic just to answer the Abdul's who say things which is really funny and they are you know they are the best example of somebody uh, who do not know what he's talking about he don't he don't see what is in his back he's the same as a camel he think his back is the most beautiful one this is how you Quran explain science there is seven earth and the seven earth in the top of the whale and the whale in the top of the bowl and the bowl in the top of the rock and the rock in the top of the dust and under the dust there's four thousand cra uh, crack or oh, sorry the in the in the rock there's four thousand cracks and nobody knows what is under that so you know when a muslim he speak about science we, we, uh, Look who is talking. Look who is talking. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ball, who carry the wheel and the wheel who carry the earth, and the earth are seven. Right? So let us go back to our topic so we can laugh more. Our topic is not about science, but the Abduls, they force us to go in that direction. We go back here. Never the Jews or the Christians will follow thee, satisfy unless you follow their religion. Now, how many of you can see in this there is a false prophecy? How many of you see something about false prophecy here? You see here uh, we are reading a translation we can read you can change the translation if you wish any abdul you want different translation let me know this is shakir hmm? what do you say muslims do you see what's wrong here anyone notice what is the false prophecy muhammad he said
Nobody? Guys, forget this guy, uh, Faris. He's just a kid. Okay, let us let us put him in sleep. He's just uh, disturbing you from listening. Focus, please. Focus. So, what we see here? Anyone see a false prophecy with me? Anyone? Nobody. Yeah, Allah will. Okay, the Christians and the Jews will never convert to Islam. This is what it says. The Christians, neither the Jews, they will never convert to Islam. But that is stupid. There is people they convert to Islam. When you say the Jews and the Christian, you are saying the Jews and the Christians. He did not say some of the Jews. He did not say some of the Christians. He did not say the majority of the Christians. He says the Jews, the Christians will never be pleased with thee. They will never accept Islam. And here we find another stupid statement. Anyone notice with me? There's another stupid statement. Let me let me highlight so you you think with me. Where is the stupid statement still? There is a stu still a stupid statement in just this line. Anyone notice? What is the other mistake? Which is against Islam? Proving to us that Muhammad is a false potato. The prophet who have no prophecy, the prophet who was bewitched. Anyone can tell me? Okay, what is the religion? Don't the Muslim they say to us that Musa was a Muslim? Don't they say to us Isa was a Muslim? So why you are calling Nasara and Jews different religion? Do you see how stupid they are? The Quran called Nasara for those who follow Jesus. Actually, the word Nasara is for the apostles of Jesus. Which means the earlier, the first people who believe in Jesus, they are called Nasara according to the Quran. So how he say that this is a different religion? Obviously it is. <laughs> so the Quran, one of the signs of the stupid Quran to be false, not from God. Actually, the Quran itself uh, gave us gave us a clear sign how to find uh, that I am a liar. My name is Muhammad. How to how to discover I am a liar? Muhammad. He gave us. The rule in chapter 4, verse number 82, Muhammad he said, Why they will not ponder the Quran? If it had been from other than Allah, they would have found there is a lot of in, inaccurate stuff. Here we go, <laughs> it's all over contradictions. How in a verse you say to us that the Christians, the Jews, in the time of Muhammad, they will go to heaven. Chapter 2, verse number 62. 